is another thing I purchased a XM301 modem for the Atari 8 bit series. Requires an Atari personal computer and disk drive. It's compatible with the XE 800 and 800 XL. But you need 32K of RAM. Power without the price. So it's supposed to have a XM31 modem, XE term program disc, owner's manual, and a warranty card. And here it says free inside. Memory saving values. CompuServe. And they markered something out. That's under the cellophane. And it's the uh, Dow Jones Retrieval Services. So they, they must have stopped giving you that disc. And an official airline guide. Nice. Atari Corporation. 1986. Made in Taiwan. Anything else? Nope. Atari Corporation. All right. <clears throat> Let's open this guy up here. All right. Mm -hmm. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, see? Under the cellophane. So this is sealed. The factory marker that out. That's so funny. Hmm. How do you... This opens like that, I thought. Maybe this... There we go. All right. The manual. <clears throat> 90 day warranty, Atari Corporation. Not valid. And let's see, what's this? XE term. DX5076. Inspected by Atari. Right protected. Hmm. Interesting. Pretty thick owner's manual for a modem. Nice. Sending and receiving files. Oh, so yeah, this is powered off the SIO bus. Nice. CompuServe. Oh, <gasps> they're using a Commodore. Blasphemy. Wow. Too bad you can't subscribe to this anymore. The source, a competing information system to uh, CompuServe. And IBM, where's all the Atari? Another IBM. What's this, a discount code? To sign up for the Knowledge Index. Never heard of that one. For all your information needs at home. Boy, that must have been exciting to get this modem back in the day. In 1986. Look at all this cool stuff you can access. Registration card. Maybe I'll send this in. Overused joke. <clears throat> Let's see. 
OAG Electronic Edition. Here's your free password. Never heard of this either. Special offer from Atari. An unbeatable offer. Airfare savings. Oh, nice. You can book air flights. Nice. Plan your air travel and save. The Dunk in Brad Street Corporation. Dunn in Brad Street. Yeah, the Dow Jones stuff is not in here. Here's the meat and taters. Oh, wow. That label got all sick. Is that a... Yeah, they... Atari always had that film on everything. Then it glues to the item. Warranty will be null and void if this label is damaged or removed. They mean business here, guys. That's all it is. One modem port. Telephone port. Oh, not much to this thing. Nice. Zip tied together. There you get it. Manual. Bunch of paperwork. Discount coupon. Warranty. Look at all this paperwork you used to get with stuff. Offers, warranties, the source, copy serve. Wow, look at all this paper you get. And a disc. I thought you'd be getting more though. What what you get like Oh look at all these Tandy, Commodore, IBM, Apple. That looks like an Atari drive. Oh, there's the Atari, yeah. What is that? Hmm. That's the Atari one. So they did have it in there somewhere. Wow. Look at all these happy people playing poker. This dude's pissed. Nice. Well, there you have it. Next video will be... Uh, Seeing if this still works on uh, a VoIP type device. So, I don't, I don't know if it will or not, but we'll find out. Okay, so here's what we got. We've got the Atari 800 and a floppy drive hooked up. And we've got that hooked up to the XM301 modem. And my OB200 voice over IP unit. So, that's the system we're using. And we're gonna, we gotta boot it up in the X term here. There we go. Okay. Um, there. So, probably should have looked up a dial-up EBS first. I don't know if this is going to work. Um, i got a BBS list here. Um, I'm looking for one of the phone number. And I don't see one. Actually, here I do. Okay. So let's get this going here. All right. So dialing B. One. Edit. Um. One five oh three. 
six four six two four oh seven. This is a BBS called the Keep dot net. All right, enter. Change to tone dialing, and our selection is one. Dial. No, because it's rate protected. I'm using the original disc. Is it going to work? I think it's working. It is working. Nice. Okay, sweet. So this Atari XM301 actually works. And we're on VoIP over IP. Well, voice over IP, not VoIP over IP. Um, sweet. Friendly and fun atmosphere. No adult graphics. I'm going to have to log off then. That is so sweet. It actually works. Yeah, I got this modem off um, Best Electronics. And uh, I wasn't sure if it was actually going to work. But it is. The funny thing is the light doesn't light up on it. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to or not. But. There we go. The Keep BBS. On this system, enter it now. Um, otherwise, type in new. We'll try new. You are ushered forward into a small shack. Nice. I didn't think this was going to work. Bigo mumbo jumbo. What is this? A 300 baud? I don't even know what the specs are on this modem. Jeez. This is why you wanted a faster modem. It's a bunch of yakety yak here. Come on. Where's the good stuff? I'm just happy it's working. Um, what is all this? Apparently it's not formatted for this computer. I don't know if this is uh is it in four different colors? No. So it's trying to configure my term. Um ANSI features. I don't have ANSI, I don't think. This is sweet. Twenty eighteen. Geez, what's all this? Oh, well. um, I need a better term program, I think. But what I should do is see if there's any Atari BBSs. Email the keep BBS at gmail.com. And I'll be happy to warning. We'll see what continue does here. We're close enough. Uh, Yeah, um, I'm not going to do this now, but uh, I'm just surprised this is working. So that's good. We'll go back to this, show what we got here. Again, Atari 800 and an OB220, I think. Um, voice over IP with Google Voice account. And uh, yeah, we can dial up other computers and go to a BBS. Neat.